Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Sean. And we're going to make some dough that can be used in electrical circuits. We are going to make two types of dough. The first will be a conductor, which will allow electricity to flow through it. The other is an insulator, which stops the electricity from flowing. To begin with, I'm going to make the dough that can conduct the electricity. You are going to need flour, water, salt, cream of tartar, vegetable oil, and food coloring. First, mix the flour, water, salt, cream of tartar, and vegetable oil together with the food coloring. And now, over a low heat, we're going to keep on mixing. The mixture will start to become sticky and begin to form lumps. Eventually, it will clump together as you mix it, pulling away from the sides of the saucepan. <laughs> and at this point, the dough is really, really hot, so let it cool before you touch it. I'm making the insulating dough. This is what you'll need. Flour, sugar, vegetable oil, water, and food coloring. Mix the flour, sugar, and oil in a bowl. Don't forget the food coloring. Add the water bit by bit until the dough starts to form. If it gets too sticky, tip it out onto a pan and cover it in flour, like this. Then knead the flour into the dough. Whoa! Oh my god! I wish I rolled up my sleeves now. So what are you doing? I'm kneading the dough. Ha! Who needs it? You'll know you've kneaded it enough once it is no longer sticking to your fingers. So now that we've got our two types of dough, what can we do with them? Let's start by making a simple circuit. Put three blobs of dough together, two conducting and one insulating. We're using light emitting diodes, LEDs, in our circuit, as well as a battery snap and 9 volt battery. Put the wires from the battery snap in the conducting blobs. If the LED doesn't light, the wires might need to be switched around. The circuit will only work if there's an unbroken path from the battery over the light and back to the battery again. Now try this. Put a row of blobs together and put in more LEDs. Make sure their legs are only touching the conducting dough. Put one battery wire in the first conducting dough. Now touch the other wire to each conducting dough in turn. You can see that as more LEDs are added, they get much dimmer. Each LED needs to share the electricity from the battery. This type of connection is called series. Now there's a second type of connection we can make, which is called parallel. For this, make three snakes of dough. One out of insulating dough and two out of conducting. Put them side by side. The middle dough will insulate any electricity from the outside strips. Here we can put in one light. Now two, three. If you look at them carefully, they're all the same brightness. You can think of each light as having its own circuit. Each light enjoys the full electricity of the battery. So that's just two activities with the insulating and the conducting dough. What other squishy circuits can you come up with? I'm a caterpillar. I'm a caterpillar. Butterfly. I'm a caterpillar. I'm a caterpillar.